Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll take a quick check of the numbers today. Uh, mostly 70s and 80s, as you'll see, warm spots mostly up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And then for your inland valleys, a 65 in Moss Landing, 86 in Gilroy, 79 for Hollister. So there wasn't a whole lot of heat. Gilroy got into the low 90s, upper 60s here in Salinas, middle 80s in King City. And of course, the coast was kind of playing around with the fog. Low 60s to upper 60s was uh, pretty much it. Monterey, Pebble Beach and Pacific Grove. We had a 73 though in Big Sur, 80 at Carmel Valley and 64 in Marina. So the low clouds were along the coast, but now we're adding some other ingredients into the mix. Some monsoonal moisture starting to make its way northward. And we're still dealing, of course, with the Ferguson fire. There's a lot of fires going across the state. This one impacting Yosemite, though. It's at 17,000 acres. They don't have a lot of containment. They're kind of doing structures and uh, protecting those and kind of building some lines around this thing. It's really uh, up in nearly inaccessible terrain, so it's a pretty tough one. Uh, Yosemite with some smoke, and there's some road closures up there uh, from time to time. And then that smoke is starting to go northward now into Lake Tahoe. Watch the, uh, the smoke here for the fire. Uh, you can see the fire right there. So there's the smoke. You're also seeing some high clouds with the monsoonal moisture starting to come up, and it was pushing into South Lake Tahoe today, so their air quality uh, went down in a hurry. Here's the monsoonal moisture. You can see this band we have from about right here, just kind of coming up uh, the Big Sur coastline right now, and then shifting all the way south into Southern California where the dew points are coming up. There's not much rain out of this batch. There is, though, out over the deserts, out towards Flagstaff. There have been a few showers in Southern California and a couple coming up over the Sierra. This is kind of the first wave. There'll be two more, though, one tomorrow, one Friday. So we'll have a chance at seeing not only overcast, but maybe uh, a brief sprinkle shower or a high base, what we call high base thunderstorms, where the thunderstorms are located much higher up in the atmosphere, so not really expecting much on the ground. 101 SAC, 106 in Fresno, 99 uh, down in Palm Springs. So it's cooler there only because of the cloud cover. Look at the moisture though. Look how dry it is. Still 8% in Fresno, but look at Palm Springs. They're at 44%. That's not marine layer, believe me. That is that monsoonal moisture that is increasing the moisture content uh, down there, and it is feeling pretty muggy uh, down that way because of their temperature. I mean, when it's 99 and you have a relative humidity of 44%, it is feeling pretty darn hot. 96 Sacramento tomorrow, 102 Fresno, 103 Bakersfield. So we have the hot temperatures and the increase in relative humidity, making for a pretty warm day for the Central Valley. Now the monsoonal moisture comes up a little bit more tomorrow. I think our best shot at getting anything will be probably on Friday. There's a lot of overcast here, mid and high level overcast. Even trying to put down maybe a shower out over the Gablin Range or the San Lucias. We'll see. Not really expecting much, but you get the idea that we'll feel the increase in humidity. We'll see the cloud cover and we'll keep an eye to the sky if anything develops. By Friday into Friday night into Saturday, most of this is off to our north, still getting some showers up in the, uh, you know, up in the Sierra Tahoe to, down to uh, uh, Mammoth, I should say. 54 to 60 tonight. So the overnight lows are actually going to probably, probably tomorrow night, are not going to get much below 60, I don't think. Uh, with the extra moisture in the air uh, at night. 66 to 72 tomorrow, that's your coast. We'll keep a slight chance of a passing shower and thunderstorm. Better chance going to be on Friday. 80 to 91 for the valley. So those middle and upper 80s, though, will feel pretty warm. Again, with that little bit of increase in humidity, it makes a big difference. Uh, 60s, 70s, 80s up in the Bay Area, 92 Los Gatos, mostly middle 80s for the Santa Cruz Mountains, low 70s and middle 60s. Mixing it up from uh, Soquel, Aptos over to Capitola and into Santa Cruz, Aromas, Watsonville, upper 60s to around 70, 80 in Hollister, upper 80s to low 90s for Gilroy and Morgan Hill, and middle 80s in King City, about 80 in Soledad, and upper and middle 60s along the coast, about 70 in Monterey, 75 Big Sur, 82 Carmel Valley. Your KSPW 8 day forecast, 60s and 70s, that slight chance of a passing shower Friday. By the weekend, it's still 60s and 70s for the coast, low clouds morning. Sun in the afternoon and more 80s than anything else for our valleys. A couple of spots will hit the low 90s, but not too hot, but a little muggy at times for the next couple of days and then a nice looking weekend. We'll okay. take it. Yeah. yeah.